<laughs> well, spend another month on hormones. Seven months and counting. As I said in my last video, I'm, I'm still really amazed that I've even got to this point. I kind of thought maybe I had some sort of mental problem that the therapist could help me with. Or that the waiting list would be so long, or that my insurance wouldn't cover this. But I'm happy to see that, well, that was wrong. <laughs> I know it seems like a cliche at this point, with so many people saying that they wish they transitioned sooner. I can definitely see why now. Aside from the side effects of the medication, some rather yucky weather we've been running into lately, as well as just the overall state of affairs with this virus, I'm happy. <laughs> there were so many times in my life I'd look in the mirror and I'd just either go, eh, or be like, eh. But now I kind of look at myself and I'm like, I almost feel kind of shy because I'm not used to seeing such a pretty face in the mirror. And that, that's not me trying to be vain either, it's just, well, I guess I finally see myself as pretty. I guess the main things to mention is that my prescription for the spirolactone, or the tea blocker, has been increased a little bit. I'm starting to notice some side effects here and there. I do get kind of lightheaded a bit more, and uh, some of those digestive issues I mentioned in previous videos, they're... Uh, Back again, but at least they're a bit more manageable this time. The doctor even kind of recommended perhaps an increase on the Spiro as well, but seeing that my numbers were pretty much in the right spot, I didn't want to mess too much with the estrogen as much. In terms of the legal side, it's almost another month until I'm waiting for the judge to decide if my name can actually be Julia. If not, most of the major people in my life are calling me by that name now, so I, I can wait, but I'm just looking forward to the, the day I can pull up my license, have it read Julia, have like hair down to here, maybe even kind of spreading a little bit, and me just looking pretty. So I guess really the only other thing I've started to notice is a bit more on the emotional side of things. <laughs> I mean, for the most part, I've been an emotional rock. It takes a lot for me to cry. And I'm still kind of at that state now. I mean, I'm going through a pretty rough patch right now. Being in the IT industry, uh... Workload is just... <laughs> I've been keeping sane. I haven't broken down and cried yet, which I feel on or off hormones, it would be a perfectly legitimate option for me. But yet I'm, I'm still holding true. But I guess the main things are now, uh, if anybody compliments me on my looks or my personality, <laughs> I, I just kind of melt. I'm just kind of like, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> See, even, even like that. I guess that's, that's more the Julia coming out than the old mate, but, well, I don't mind it. it. It's nice to feel appreciated. I mean, I never really saw myself as pretty. I kind of saw myself as either a creep or kind of disgusting at times. And that's kind of the gist of it. Looking back now, it seems so obvious that I was transgender, but not really knowing what that meant. <laughs> It was just kind of like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> and now, now it makes sense. So for my six month video, I was thinking about adding in a part two where I would just kind of go over a timeline, so to speak. When I first started this transition, I basically took pictures of my face, my chest, and uh, more sensitive areas just to kind of see how everything was changing. It seemed like about, I don't know, reached about maybe the 15 or 20 week mark and I'm just like, the only thing I'm noticing is that the hair just is getting a little more poofier and that's it. But maybe going through them now, perhaps I'll see a bit more of a difference. And then another thing as well, I have been trying to work on the voice, trying to 
get a little higher in terms of a normal speaking voice. So I figure I'm just going to take a clip of an old video and see how much that has changed. There are some times I have listened to my older stuff and I'm just like, wow, sounds like I have a cold. Which, knowing how often I get allergies, that could have been the case, but it seems like I was a lot lower back then. <laughs> and now I'm, I'm a little higher. But just as a bit of a comparison. So this, this is my, this is my normal speaking voice right now. I don't feel like I'm raising it too much. I'm not going too high with it. And this is what my normal speaking voice sounded like before I started the transition. So then, finally picked up the Blu-ray version. So now, I can actually compare the two films. First, I figured I'd start with comparing the covers. Both kind of take place from very famous scenes in the movie. Yeah, I'm not really sure if I'm noticing too much of a difference there. Maybe it's because I'm too close to the problem, I'm not hearing it, but what, what do you think? Has my voice gotten higher? And now on to the pictures. Once again, I want to mention after about the 15 or 16 week mark, I just kind of gave up. I didn't really notice anything. I was kind of hoping that maybe as I took the pictures, I would just kind of see my cheeks popping out more, or my skin just kind of getting softer, or even just having to shave less, which, uh, I guess that's just going to come in due time. I still have to shave once a day, maybe even twice sometimes. But this far away, I guess it's not too obvious, so that's, that's good. This picture I took the day before I started hormones. For the most part, I tried to take these every Thursday morning, since it was Thursday, October 1st, that I started. I tried to keep a neutral face throughout, but some you can tell I didn't really get a whole lot of sleep. Sometimes I shaved, sometimes I didn't, sometimes I combed my hair, and other times I didn't. After week 23, I kind of gave up, as I wasn't really seeing anything groundbreaking. Took one on week 26, and then another on week 30. So yeah, that, that's about all I've got for now. Uh, if there's anything you're curious about in terms of this transition, feel free to ask. I have all the information, I'm just not really sure what is something that would be important to you. Well, till next time, be yourself, no matter who that is.